Hello students, welcome to the 11-4 notes. Today our focus is area of regular polygons and composite figures. By the end of this lesson, students will be able to find and use the area of regular polygons and composite figures. Remember, with our composite figures, we're going to be focused on two-dimensional shapes. Composite figures are just two or more two-dimensional shapes put together to create a larger composite figure by Mr. Root. Um, if you want to open up your theorem book, highlight the area of a regular po um, polygon. In class today we focused and we saw that um, the area of a regular polygon can be split into right triangles. Um, the formula for this is derived in that and the area would be one half the apothem from the center perpendicular to the side times the number of sides, times the side length. All right. um, that can be rewritten because the number of sides times the, each side length, since they're all equal, would give you the perimeter. So you could use area equals one-half apothem times the perimeter. Um, and that gets derived from what we know from class. So you guys can use this formula if you like, or think about what we figured out in class. Um, we create two right triangles per side. So, um, we know there's going to be two right triangles in each side, and we can just multiply that. So the area of any n gone, all right, um, n is obviously our variable, depending on the number of sides, is 2 times the number of sides, because there's two right triangles per side, times that area of right triangles, because we're going to have two right triangles per side, and then you can figure out this, um, the figure of the whole thing. Um, in today's notes, we're going to be using what we figured out in class and um, the formula that's given in the theorem book. you got to figure out what works best for you and um, make sure that you understand that. All right, first example, given the area of the given, find the area of the given regular polygon. So it says regular. We know all the sides are congruent. All right. Um, and we're going to start off, and I'm just going to remember, oh, there's two right triangles per side. So I'm going to draw in my right triangle. I'm going to draw in my radius for my octagon, okay? And I know I need to figure out this x part, all right? Because in our right triangle, um, the area of the right triangle is a one-half base times height. So I'm going to plug in what I know right now. The area of the octagon is 2 times the number of sides, because there's going to be two right triangles on each side times the area of the right triangle. All right. In this case, we're going to end up, since there's eight sides, with 16 right triangles. I could draw them in. I'm just not going to take that time, though. All right. Um, before we can start, though, we need to figure out this measure x. All right. Take a look at what we know. We know one side, but we don't know that other side, so we can't use the Pythagorean theorem. However, all right, because there's 16 congruent right triangles, um, we know that central angle on all the right triangles is going to be congruent. All right, So there's 360 degrees total in our circle. We're going to divide it by the number of triangles, 16. So they'll all have an angle of 22.5 degrees. Okay. From here, take a look at what you know. All right, We know that it's 22.5. Okay, X is what we want to find. That's the opposite side. 8 is what we know. That's the adjacent side. So Sokotoa, think what trig function works with opposite sides and adjacent sides. Sine, cosine, or tangent. And yeah, it's tangent. Opposite over adjacent. So the tangent of our angle, in this case is tangent of 22.5, equals the opposite side over the adjacent side, which is the apothem in this case. Um, from here, you can cross multiply x times 1. Oh, that's x. Um, 8 times 22.5, plug that into your calculator. Or not, times 22.5, times the tangent of 22.5. Don't make that mistake. Um, and you should get right around 3.31. Okay, well, at this point, we can take in and um, continue using what we know and plug into the stuff. All right. Number of triangles per side, number of sides, times the area of the right triangles. That's one-half base times height. We know our base is 3.31. We know our height of our triangle is 8. Plug that all in. And 
then plug that in your calculator. That'll give you a nice round answer of 212.08 yards squared. And again, we're probably rounding here. Um, again, we're rounding up here. Don't round this and then plug it in. Make sure you're using that rounded answer or that, that full answer in your calculator. Don't round it until the very end. Um, next example. Find the area of the given composite shape. Well, here's our shape. It looks like we've got a regular pentagon inside are connected to five squares. Um, luckily with this, all the sides are equal. All right, so we know a few things. We can find the area of the pentagon times five times the area of the square because there are five squares. Um, taking a look at the square, we know square is length times width or base times height. And in this case, it will equal five squared. So I'm just going to bring this down right, right away. That's the area of our squares. Um, and then we need to focus on the area of our pentagon. Well, it is a regular pentagon. So we know, um, well, first of all, i got to find that apothem. I know that's going to be kind of key. Um, that's going to be in any part, um, whether it's the height of your right triangle or just the apothem in the, in the formula. Um, before we can figure that out, though, we got to, uh, okay, looks like we've got one side. We know the radius. Oh, quick reminder, right? We know that there's going to be two congruent sides here. Um, that apothem splits it to equal sides. We know that this whole side is 6 because it's the same right here. All right, so since it cuts it in half, um, this part's 3, this part's 3. So we know two sides of our right triangle, um, and we need to find the third. So easiest way to do that, um, Pythagorean theorem. Plug in what we know. We know a squared plus 3 squared equals 5 squared. All right, and from here, you guys know 3 squared is 9, 5 squared is 25, minus 9 on both sides. We're going to get the a, that a squared is 16. From here, square root. And we're going to find out that a is 4. Now, on this one, what I'm going to do for the area of the pentagon is I'm just going to use this formula that from the, the theorem book. Um, so, and plug in what we know. We know 1 half times the apothem. All right, well, that's a. All right. Number of sides, one, two, three, four, five, there's five sides. All right, and each side is a length of six. Okay. Plus, we have the five squares off here. Just plug everything into one so we know the area of the total of everything is going to be one half or 0.5 times the apothem times the number of sides times the side length plus five because there's five squares and then area of the square. Plug that into your calculator, you should get an area of 240 square centimeters.